world! Today we're gonna do something exciting. I wanna introduce you to my new baby, iPhone 11 Pro Max. I cannot believe that I hold this phone in my hands because I didn't expect to get it and especially with such crazy memory. It was just, it just happened by the luck I would say and it's in a green color which I think is super unique and oh, I am I cannot wait to open it and it's a huge update from my iPhone 11 Pro which I adore. I think it's a really amazing phone and I still love it but it's time to update so that's why I'm holding iPhone 11 Pro Max in my hands. Um, I don't know how the transition will go because I love my buttons and I'm so used to have them so I hope it will be smooth. I hope so because yeah I love uh, good user interaction so I hope it will go well but we shall see we shall see and I will probably post some comparison between video and photos between those two phones. Um, I hope it will be helpful so please keep watching I wanted to open it with you because it's an exciting moment for me and I wanted to share it with you. I waited a couple of days to open it because I wanted to open it on a camera and put the protection screen immediately to not destroy it so I will unpack it put it back in the box and go to the store so they can put the screen because I don't want to damage it. Uh, I'm so 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 excited. Let me focus the camera. I don't do crazy transition like other video bloggers because I, my channel is not about unpacking, okay? It's... I'm just doing it because I have something to unpack. I love to do it and I love watching those videos, so I hope you will enjoy it too. Ooh, this is so satisfying! So here is the unpacking process and we just did it. Here is the box without this. Here it is. OMG, it's so lovely. I love the green color. I was afraid that I would not like the green color because I was deciding between gold and silver but then I didn't like the gold one because it was not rose gold and the silver one looked a bit cheap. I'm sorry guys who have a silver iPhone Pro, but it looks not good. So I picked the green one because it's really unique color. Look how pretty it is. OMG! Love it. Okay, let's put it here carefully. And here's the instructions or whatever it is. And here is the headphones. I was surprised that people didn't know when they unpacked their phones that they had headphones and someone threw the boxes out. Maybe it was different packaging. So here is the charger obviously and here is the European style charger because that's what we use here in Kazakhstan. And let's put it back. Uh, it's covered. <laughs> so here is the phone and I want to remove this with you guys. Shall we remove it? Because I want to take it so they can put the protective screen on top. But okay, I will do it with you because it's satisfying, right? It's satisfying to watch this. So let's do it. Ah, oh, it's done. Okay, I will turn it on after I will put the protection screen and come back to home and I will get the case, I think. So that's the part one. I hope you enjoyed it and for the part two, it will be soon. So let's continue speaking about iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, you saw how I packed it and I put the cover and the screen protector on top of it. And what can I say? I've been using this phone for what already? A week? Yes, because I got it last week. And I love it. Okay, I was worried that the, the lack of the button will somehow make it uncomfortable, but no, I got used to it and it's so flawless to work with it. I really enjoyed the quality of the video, the sound, the photos. Um, that's really important if you are, want to vlog with it or if you want to make pictures or use it on your content creation. That's like amazing. Plus, the large screen, I couldn't work with a small screen, I don't have the best eyesight and the large area of working if you're a designer, a photographer or you want to edit photos and stuff on the phone, I think it's essential. 
and it's really comfortable to use. I don't have any problems with it. I'm just really excited that I have this phone now, and I would highly advise it to you. Um, I am not speaking about tech stuff because I think you can read it. You can find other bloggers and tech person reviewers who does that. I'm not into that. I'm not that interested because. Obviously, I bought exactly this phone for tech reasons and that with a huge improvement for my 8 Plus, but I'm not going to speak about that. I will shoot some videos on the phone and attach them to this um, review so you can see how it looks like and maybe you can definitely spot the difference between my Canon G7X because my Sony camera today decided to collapse on me because it ran out of battery power, which was extremely angry about, but it's fine. We are shooting on camera today, and I will show you the video footage of the iPhone. Let me know what videos I want to see on this channel, because I want to speak more about fashion, I want to speak about home decor and art, but if you have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments, because I would love to hear from you. Oh, and I've noticed that I have a lot of comments on my Spanish videos, so perhaps I will do some videos on learning languages and sharing my stories, how I was accepted at the top university in the world for the master's program. So there are a lot of ideas, so please let me know in the comments what would you like to learn about and see you in the next video and next will be the footage from the iPhone 11 Pro Max. See you! So here I'm shooting on the selfie mode, horizontal, for the video format settings. And I love it. Look, I'm walking super fast right now, like seriously fast. And the video is not shaking. Like compared to 8 plus, it's just perfect and stunning. I'm just amazed because definitely iPhone 11 Pro can compete with point shooters or some DSLR cameras. That's like 100% because I'm just amazed by the quality. By the way, uh, wait, which way I should walk so you can see? <laughs> I don't know which side to walk. Well, see this painting? I made it, it's a resin epoxy art and I can't wait to put it somewhere here on a wall and create more paintings like that. So if you're curious how I create them, please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoy this video and actually you saw all my recording setup, it's a bit crazy. Uh, yeah, see you in the next videos. Love you guys.